let's take an example as i've told you i'm going to you know talk only practical example so that you can correlate with that and you can imagine now here you know please i just want you to imagine whatever i'm saying to you now think about a car whenever you are seeing you know any car on the road what you see is hey it's just a car so car is a real world it's an entity okay car is an entity just take it as an entity what is called what is the definition of entity entity is nothing but uh, you know any thing in the world which exists in real time it's just called an entity in this world okay so car is an entity but whenever we are seeing any car on the road is this just a car without any brand no either the car will be bmw audi tata mahindra okay there is some brand and every brand is associated with some feature and basic functionality so whenever you are seeing something on the road logically it is a car but physically it is a tata car it's an audi car it's an bmw it's a mahindra it's a jaguar i'll take one more example if you are going to a mobile shop and how how you'll purchase a mobile are you going to say hey i just need a mobile mobile is a logical thinking it's just it's a logical existence it's not physically exist so the the shopkeeper is going to ask you what mobile now again you will say hey i just need a mobile so he will get confused what exactly you want because mobile is a logical entity it does not exist just like that the car is a logical entity it does not exist what exists the brand the tata audi bmw mahindra just like that in the mobile what you are going to say the next answer hey i want an apple i want samsung i want realme redmi i want these kind of brand i want a mobile of realme i want a mobile of apple so that's how you purchase right so what is the physical existence what is a physical entity physical entity is apple physical entity is bmw physical entity is mahindra physical entity is audi but the car the mobile these are logical entity so when i say logical entity whenever i'm saying it every time that logical entity is called class class is a group of similar kind of a product similar kind of a uh, you know anything any brand or similar kind of a things associated with a single class so car is a class mobile is a class now uh, if i take another example dog dog is a class human being is a class so these are the class it it logical these are the logical entity basically it does not exist what exists the brand associated with the car the breed associated with the dog and the brand associated with any mobile oh oh so these are called the logical entity now hope this is clear now let's move to the definition of an object before proceeding to this video i have a little announcement for you do you have templatized resume that you send across to every company you apply for are you compromising with the type of role you were seeking at the beginning just because you have to compete with un unreasonable expectation on those job description you know you have the right skill and the mentality to prove your worth but not the right place to showcase it well if i told you that you can just keep passing through all these barrier yes your search for finding the right job now ends with re level get access to the top product based companies like paytm upgrade cred zoom car and many more all this just take a test away no resume no degree criteria no experience all that matters is your knowledge and skills re level tests are free of cost and the guaranteed package of more than 4 lpa for non technical role and 6 lpa for tech role currently they are conducting test for web development business development and analytics related roles register for re registration for re level test is as simple as any registration process you can just you need to sign up first then select the test of your choice select the date book your slot 
and yeah of course you can take the test from anywhere in your personal laptop or desktop check out real level achiever on twitter to see how many people have started their dream career through real level Relevel is hosting their first ever Achiever Summit this Thursday at 7 p.m. This is going to be an amazing event. They have Sunil Chetri coming in to celebrate the achievement of all the candidates who have been offered a job through Relevel. And to add to this, the event will be hosted by Varun Thakur. It's going to be fun, motivating, and full of enthusiasm. Check out their channel in the description. Subscribe today and set the reminder to make sure you don't miss out on on an amazing event. One of the re-level achiever was offered forty LPA job from Cred. He is going to speak about it too. So all links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. Now let's move to this video. So what is an object? Object is any real world entity which has some characteristic or which can perform some task so when i say audi when i say mobile when i say something else so what is that these are the object apple samsung audi mahindra jaguar these are object but car mobile a uh, dog these are these are called class these are logical logical entity is always a class whenever somebody is asking you the main difference is the class is a logical entity it's a blueprint of the object it's not exactly a physical entity it's a logical entity so this is a definition of an object now here the car is in class c a r line number 1 CAR1 is an object the carbon and car2 is an object of the car the carbon and car2 can be it's a bmw or mahindra or any any brand it's associated with a car so the physical entity in the world is called the object the logical entity in the world is called the class now read out the definition of a class So now let's jump into the definition. Simple definition. I have already told you what is a class. I know I have already explained you with the uh, with object. Now just read out the definition. A class is a plan which describes the object. Yeah, car is a class. Mobile is a class. Dog is a class. We call it a blueprint of how the object should be represented, and it consists of name, attribute, and operations. so whenever we are creating this blueprint we are going to talk about the name okay the uh, the class name the attribute and what operation it performs so the attribute of the class can i say model number means what is the model of that car what is the uh, chassis number what is the engine number what is win and some more feature whatever the attribute we can add in a car we can we can have that right and what is the operation of a car operation of a car is you can say driving it stops we can lock the car these are the operation uh okay this if 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 this looks tough i'll take another example for a mobile what is the operation of a mobile dialing a number or messaging somebody these are the operation but what are the different uh, attribute attribute can be the mobile model of the mobile or the imei number or anything the processor what is the processor these are the attribute of the mobile which is i can say if you are saving if you are maintaining a database of a of a mobile what are the things we are you are going to save the model number the imei number the uh, processor the other thing which is associated which is an attribute of a mobile so this is what uh, difference between no attribute and operation operation is what we perform with the help of that class with the help of car what is the operation of a car driving stop lock what is the operation of a mobile just dialing a number messaging somebody it's it's an operation of a car is a class okay can i say model chassis number win engine these are the attribute that how we define attribute in any class or driving lock stop can i say uh this is an operation of a class these method is called an operation of the class 
okay so this is how we write a code to create any class a class is a car which has some attribute and which has some operation operation will be any operation will be defined by a method because operation has some functionality functionality means driving is associated with some of the implementation whenever you just uh, you know put your key and you start it you know the car you, it gets started right we don't know the implementation behind it how it getting started whenever you click on a button the car uh, you know it it get it get locked whenever you uh, you know you and whenever you apply brake it it gets stop so these are these are called the operation we don't know the how it got implemented how it's functioning we don't know and we don't care about this functionality will will i'll tell you why we do not care it and what it, it what exactly it's called so this is just i wanted to show you this is how a car Cla class looks like with the attribute and the operations so whenever somebody talking about the operations this is how the method this way we you are going to define an operation and the attribute will be some you will will be looking like something like that so the public private private public this these these are nothing but we'll talk about that if you are a beginner then we'll talk about that don't worry 